Hello, you can see the giant ass gorge behind me. I'm in Edinburgh. All right, I'm gonna close this and we'll do another take somewhere else. It's really beautiful. Just kind of look around. So we're at somewhere called the, um, the, the Victoria Shame, or like the Acropolis, because they always try to like shrine here in the Greco-Roman fashion, but kind of can't um, have enough money for it, so they kind of shut. Anyway, I'll go on to the next take. Hello again. So one of the things we need to talk about is it's a really big hill. You know, David Hume made this uh, walk well he had this walkway done by uh, I guess publicly applying to the government and they they did it by decision so that people could walk and converse and uh, kind of make the place a public place where people at their leisure could discuss things and you know relax and walk a little garden behind me Scotland's a very asymmetrical place. I didn't realize how asymmetrical Scotland was. I should really know from all the highlands and the hills. I went to Newcastle and uh, that was a great place. Uh, very linked into the uh, geography. Sorry, very linked into the geography. It's a big difference from London. I've just been traveling from uh, London, I went to Newcastle and I've come here. I'm going to be here today and tomorrow and then I go to Glasgow and then I come back uh, to York and then uh, London. So yeah, my channel. What am I, what am I doing with it? Um, you know, there's a, large, there's a large amount of space and I put a poster to memes. Uh, you know, they felt right at the time, I guess, or it seemed right at the time, so I, I posted those. So where is this channel going? I guess that's the big question. Um, the Mamluk stuff is on hold, mainly due to translations. I mean, the basic move sets are there. Uh, it's just the way that it's articulated. Um, but one of the things which is promising is and I don't really want to say names yet. I will say names when the person in particular has posted stuff, but um, this person, uh, he, he's kind of, um, well, basically he's he's got Ottoman stuff and we've been talking and he has uh, parts of it translated, um, a track street is, um, I don't want to ruin it and I'm not going to be posting anything until this person uh, uploads videos on kind of um, the different stuff on my track. So this is Neju Matraki, who was the person who wrote, uh, I think the camera's shaking because of me, um, uh, a Ottoman treatise about different weapon use like halberd and uh, shield and sword and uh, the materials are very good. Um, you know, he his translation is very adept. Um, from the looks of it, um, he, you know, he's done his research. He, this person's really cool. Um, as soon as that's released, I will post uh, kind of this person's work. Um, but also, uh, more kind of importantly, like, you know, if he, if this person gives their kind of permission, like I will be posting stuff myself about it. Um, it's really interesting stuff. It's stuff I didn't. Um, all the movesets are there that have kind of been discussed in terms of Mamluk, but it's just the way you do it and the dynamics which are set up for it. Um, so yeah, um, I guess in the future expect um, the Mamluk stuff's on hold until further translation work is done, but I think the next steps maybe is like Ottoman stuff. Um, that would be very cool. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be cool. Uh, you know, I've had some time to think about it and kind of like I, I want this. I want my channel to be a place that's kind of uh, pursued of my interests, of course, because it's my channel um, with different stuff. I know that I know to get ahead, kind of in YouTube, you need to 
be very specific to your channel and you need to be very specific for your content because people don't watch it otherwise but uh, my thoughts are kind of it should be a place where I get to post my stuff to kind of I guess it should be a lot about a statement about what you like and what you're interested in and stuff and you know I hope that stays the case um, so yeah that's it I hope everybody's well um, COVID I think has done its thing um, like I posted I think from last year and I started posting again um, a lot of soul searching I, would, I don't know if it necessarily can call it soul searching because I wasn't necessarily uh, searching but I learned a lot about myself um, and kind of uh, where I'm at um, and it's a good learning curve as well um, it's really weird how different situations will kind of inform you and you know in, in ways change you about yourself like you, you're not the same as you, who you were 30 years from now or who you are t like 10 years ago but like it you know it affects different people differently right um so yeah what else what else can i talk about the there's um i've been kind of debating whether to discuss this or not um but I think a, su a sufficient amount of time has passed where I can kind of talk about it with, um, I guess, with people because I guess people wanted to kind of see what's up. And plus, like, I'm not part of the Kickstarter anymore for the Mamluk uh, translation. I haven't really um, gone back to it. I gave permission a while back uh, and that translation's still ongoing, but I don't have anything to do with it. And I don't have anything to do with the Historical African Martial Arts Association either. Um, I was the head historical researcher, but I, I no longer am. Um, and for good reason, I, I think. Um, like, I think, you know, the, the relationship's abysmal. Like, it doesn't really exist. I'm not cordial with them. Like, I don't want to be cordial with them at all. Um, and like, uh, I think it's just a mixture of just terrible stuff which has happened on their side, but also I didn't uh, particularly handle it in the best way. Like, and I don't mean in a way that's detrimental in any way uh, to anybody, but in a way that just kind of wasn't great for myself at the time. But I had a lot going on, like I was still in North London and I moved to West London. Um, so yeah, uh, I something like I'm not gonna exactly say what happened to myself um, but something kind of very serious happened that uh, included a member uh, and it happened to me as well and um, like it was it was a big thing like you know the people who ran hammer knew about it um, and the eventual decision came um, because of the mon who um, decided that from a decision of his own that he was going to keep this person in uh, mainly because of their racial background because he you know they didn't want to seem like hammer kicking out somebody who's mixed race would have been a good idea at that point like some words were said i said some things I'd, i'm not particularly proud of um i said it before as well uh, just to kind of provide context somebody said something and like um yeah I, I ended up uh kind of leaving and i took all my research with me which is like 80 percent of the whole thing like if you look up the research now there isn't anything there apart from some general historical articles in which case they told me like why did you take down the research and i'm like it's my research and then uh damon just ended up going on social media on the hammer facebook group and like committed defamation basically uh against me and said that like I tried to usurp the group and he, he's not referring to me in name but he says that um, the person who left which I'm the only person like he said I tried to usurp the group I took down all the historical research even though it was my research and um, yeah um, yeah it's defamation basically um, he just ended up like phrasing it in such a way like I had been a detriment to the 
the, the Historical African Martial Arts Association. And then, you know, um, it's just kind of really a slap in the face, um, especially I spent all that time in research helping them out. Um, I didn't charge them anything, it was completely voluntary, and I, I spent all my time helping them, and then they did that to me. Um, so eventually it got to the point, like I, I sent them an email basically saying um, with the research that was left like based on Canadian law you need to, because they're based in Canada essentially, you need to take it down and they did. So, and this is a weakness on my part, what I'm about to say, um, I was trying to look for a job and I needed a reference so I was like, send them a very long winded email saying like, if you like, um, what you did was disgraceful, like it was absolutely horrible, like it was out of order. And I was like, if you take down the defamation thing, I will, and you give me a reference for a job, I will like, just leave it. Like I ended up giving the Kickstarter to them as well, which in hindsight I probably shouldn't have. There were suggestions to create an article of association, but I guess at the time, like I just really didn't want anything to do with them. Um, article association is like an agreement. So basically they, um, they agree to this and they give me a reference. I didn't use it in the end, but I really needed the job, uh, which can tell you what, you, what you're gonna do. Uh, and plus I had done it for, I had been there for like two years that I kind of, yeah, I was like, I kind of knew, would like this re uh, reference for all this time. I think in hindsight now working, I probably wouldn't have taken it. And it's actually weakness on my part for doing it. I gladly admit that. Um, I probably shouldn't, but yeah. Um, if there's one thing I've learned, it's like don't compromise what you want to do or what you kind of don't compromise your beliefs uh, to get something. Like, what does the future hold? Like, I'm never talking to Hammer ever again. Like, I'm never working with them. Like, Demon made a very stupid decision. Um, to 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 let somebody stay in like and one of the people told me that he didn't end up letting them stay in and it's like you know it's a bit late after all this time you know and a couple of months had passed by then uh to kind of tell me this now when you were going to tell this person who'd basically done something very serious that they were gonna um let me um keep them in and keep them like in hammer um, I don't know, should I really say what it is? Yeah, maybe. Um. Hello, so, uh, I've given it a day. I did the footage last, um, last week, yesterday, um, but there was a lot of umming and ahhing and um and kind of from me. So, I've decided to give it the next day now um, and just kind of talk about what happened. I was hesitant at first in the video to talk about what exactly has happened, but I'm okay talking about it now. Um, so, in short, I was sexually assaulted by a member who was part of the Hammer group. Um, they were my partner. Um, I had made the decision that I was going to spend the rest of my life with them. And that, uh, yeah, you know, I pictured myself settling down with this person and having kids. And, you know, it... It... There'd been some indication of trouble, and um, the person, like, quite honestly said they didn't love themselves. And, you know, but when you love somebody, you don't really see those signs, or you try to help that person. But if that person can't help themselves, or can't um, love themselves, then they can't really love you. And through that insecurity and those issues, they decided to use the relationship and my um, affection and love for them to abuse it basically. So where do we go from here? Well from all of this and from the actions that Damon and the Hammer Group have taken um, they're disgraceful and it's absolutely despicable and it's really like I've in my life I've received a lot of abuse from people like just growing up, uh, through school I used to get bullied a lot, um, at home as well, like, and I, you know, one thing is you can't just sit and take it, like, you have to speak out about it, and when it's somebody that you love, that you 
want to spend the rest of your life with you you know it's hard to kind of I guess detract and think about it but more importantly like that somebody you love that somebody you feel think you're going to spend the rest of your life with so it you know try making a split second decision when all of this stuff is happening and the relationship turned out to be very volatile like try to see how you can deal with that when that's somebody you have a lot of affection for and that you care about a lot um so yeah um even though they didn't end up bringing back the person the mon's decision was incredibly despicable like i'm never gonna have anything to do with hammer again um and i need to do two call outs one to Rasmusar, um, the people who do the historical Persian stuff because they knew what happened um, and they decided to team up with Damon anyway and Hammer as part of the Kickstarter and give historical knowledge. And also David Rawlings from London Longsword Academy. I need to call him out um, because he decided after all of that and Damon's decision to invite him to do Days of the Blade. Uh, despite knowing what happened it's really ironic when you have an organization that's supposedly about diversity and inclusivity but apparently sexual assault uh, when it comes to an organization doesn't cross that it shows you how much of a hypocrite the HEMA community is and with people like David Rawlings who love the virtue signal about inclusivity and how virtuous they are for allowing like all these policies but when it comes to actually people who are affected the most people are oddly silent about it um yeah the hema community is full of cowards full of individual cowards who love to collectively take action and tell them about how hard done by they are but when it comes to actually taking action and standing up for themselves there's a lot of weaklings in the hammer uh, at the hema community and it's disgraceful and it's despicable and it's a really big um it's a really big comment on the wokeness of kind of the community that they will like want to talk about all these things but when it comes to sexual assault apparently if it doesn't define or flip slip into their definition of who should be affected apparently that's not their problem and people are oddly silent about it so not only am i not going to have anything to do with hammer again but I'm probably never going to have anything to do with London Longsword Academy, David Rawlings, or anything to do with Rasmus Far again. Um, I think their organisations are despicable. I think they don't care necessarily what they stand for. And that they're huge hypocrites for it. Um, and they don't really support what they believe. So I'm going to proceed with the Mamluk stuff and the Ottoman stuff. Hopefully we get this stuff going and you know based on what this guy wants to do and as soon as the stuff release i will say who he is i just kind of don't want to say anything yet because this person wants to keep it i guess under the radar until they actually get stuff going this is more of a uh thing from my channel and where the channel's going and hopefully we'll see more of stuff happening so anyway edinburgh is really nice it's a beautiful day and it's just kind of like a really sunny day i found this isolated part where i could just come and talk and nobody bothers me um so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video hopefully there'll be more videos on my channel thanks oh I, and i just want to caveat one more thing that i forgot to mention in the video so when um hammer agreed to take down the mon's defamation video one of the things we spoke about was I'd written a post basically saying what had happened and one of the agreements was I would take that down as well. So that basically Hammer could cover themselves. Um, looking back at it now, it was a moment of weakness on my part and um, if I had the chance to kind of be in the same uh, situation again, I wouldn't have done it. It was weakness on my part. Um, but I think you should if something like that has happened you should speak up about it and tell the truth as well um and not stand for it if it ever happens anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video it's a beautiful day in edinburgh and thank you very much